Well, tonight a Blue Origin space capsule is safe, but the rocket booster that launched it for, from Texas appears to be a total loss at this point. Something happened that apparently caused the emergency abort system to trigger about one minute after launch. A similar launch abort system has been designed into the new Artemis 1 moon rocket. News 6's Eric Von Anken is on the Space Coast looking at how the systems work. The new way of building rockets that includes the Artemis 1 moon rocket out there on the pad, also known as the SLS or the Space Launch System, is to build in a launch abort system to catapult the capsule and everything in it away to safety. That worked today in Texas. Five, four, command engine start. Blue Origin's New Shepard is a suborbital rocket. That means it only goes to the edge of space, and it's much smaller than SpaceX's Falcon 9, and much, much smaller than NASA's mega moon rocket, the SLS. Throttle back and then continue on up to space. But its launch abort system is very similar to the other two rockets, and today it was tested in West Texas. Rocket motors inside the Blue Origin capsule fired almost instantaneously when the rocket booster seemed to veer off course. Then parachutes put the capsule back down on the ground gently enough that if humans had been on board instead of just experiments, they likely would have survived. There goes the retro thrust system. You can see how our backup safety systems kicked in today to keep our payloads safe during an off nominal situation. This would have saved astronauts had they been on board, it appears, correct? Yeah, that's right. Obviously, being able to escape a malfunctioning booster is critical to everybody uh, that launches payloads and people into space. And certainly it's a, it's a big selling point for Blue Origin. Uh, they they say, you know, look, we can we can pull that capsule away at any point from the launch pad all the way uphill. NASA has successfully tested the launch abort system on top of the Orion capsule, which would pull Orion clear of the space launch system in case the monstrous rocket fails. But the launch abort motor is not installed inside the Artemis 1 moon rocket on this upcoming test flight. NASA says there's no need because there will be no people on board, meaning the capsule would be lost if something went wrong with the rocket this time around. But next time, years from now, starting with Artemis 2, when astronauts will be on board, the launch abort system will be ready to go and ready to save them if need be. But anytime there's an anomaly like this, it is a setback. Blue Origin still not talking about what they think might have happened earlier this morning, but the FAA says they will find out for sure. And until then, Blue Origin, which also has a facility here on the Space Coast, will not be allowed to fly. For now, on the Space Coast, Eric Von Aken getting results. News 6. Now, SpaceX is showing no signs of slowing down. Just days after launching its Starlink Internet satellites, it plans to send up another batch tomorrow. Liftoff is set for just after 10 tomorrow night from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. If the launch happens, you can watch it live on News 6 and at ClickOrlando.com.